Ah, oh, hello. I returned with another review. Oh no. But this time it's not a console. No, it has to do with one. Um, we all know the original PS3 uh, 6-axis controller. Well, maybe not all, all of us. I don't know if you know it or not, but I don't really care. It looks like the other PS PlayStation controllers, sort of, except for it's extremely light. And it doesn't have rumble, which I don't really care, because rumble didn't seem that too amazing to me. And it's got a USB port, and then it plays, and it's motion sensing, and it's got a PS button in the center, and blah, blah, blah. But, oh, these are rather expensive. I believe they went down to 40 now I saw at Walmart. But when I got when I got my PS3, they were 50. And my brother wants to play the PlayStation 3. Crap. Oh crap! Uh, PlayStation 3, 2, 2, so, and I don't trust him with one of these behalf. I don't trust me all the time, as you just saw. Uh, um, but yeah, so I, I didn't want to get him one of these because I know he'll break. And this one guy at Best Buy said, "Well, why not try?" Uh, like he said, these usually work. The Logitech. I don't know how you spell it, Log pronounce it Logitech, Logitech, I don't care. But, uh, it's blinking. Um, it's rather similar to the other Log Logitech, Logitech controllers, PlayStation controllers, by Logitech, Logitech, whatever. But this one, of course, is a wee bit different, of course. I don't know if it's been like that. This one's got the little trigger things just like this. See that? This one's got it except for it's just flat. It doesn't curve back, which I like the curving back better. I don't care who you, what you think about that or not. This one has little different buttons. Um, of course, there's your PS button there. The PS button for this is not this. No. It's this. It says just as PS. And this one over here says D slash mode, which I don't know why they even have that on there or why it's even important. All it does is really it flips these controls around. So you have it turned on. Well, it won't do it now since it's not plugged in. Um, it, this will act as an analog stick and this acts as an up and down, so it got screwy the first time we used it and we got angry. And then I just told my brother to stop. Push leave that button off and see what happens and then sure enough it was fine this thing is a little not as well this one jiggles too because I think it broke it or something because my dad threw it against the wall when we were bowling yeah with it um one bad thing is of course this one no battery slot it's an ion lithium ion rechargeable battery this one Oh no! What we got here? You gotta buy batteries. That sucks. Even though they last pretty long, you still gotta buy batteries and batteries. Yay! And another feature. Why can't I hold on to controllers today? Uh, another bad feature is, uh, well, it won't remote start it. Think so? Nope. Dude. Oh yeah, and plus it's not Bluetooth. You gotta plug this little receiver on your PS3, so it will work. This one you just plug the USB, register it, and you're good to go. Unplug the USB cord. So you gotta plug this in. Plug it in. Now, of course, you know when you press PS on this, it turns it on. I don't know if you knew that or not. PlayStation 3 people do know that. Press the PS button. Nope, nothing working. Press the PS button. We might hear a beeping noise. Oh, it turned on behind me. The blinking lights are going on. Let's see how this baby works. And one thing, 
is when this thing's USB port's plugged in. This one always goes to two, not one, which makes me angry because this is the primary one. Okay. Let's move the camera over. Homework. Oh, let's move it. Let's change the channel. Okay, I'm using the Logitech controller. There we go. Login is me. My Sonic background, yay. We'll play this. See if it works. Waiting, waiting. Ha ha, we thought this is a demo, so I don't know how good it will be. Zigbo. Skip it. Oops. No, I can. Ah, oh, shut up. It's a nice game starting. Oh, I keep pressing the PS button. That's fine. That's great. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't have motion sensing. That sucks, because some games do use motion sensing as their primary function. Which people say it's confusing with that PS3 controller, but it's not. Okay, here we are. Moves a little fast. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not as smooth. The, the control analog stick turns the screen too fast. Oh, I just smacked him in the head. Oh, my name smacked. left. No TV. The city is full of these sonic devices. What? They're fucking with people's brains and they don't even know it. Where they come from is something you need to learn. Oh, yeah, okay. Right there's one. And I broke it. Overall, it's not too horrid, this controller. Press PS. Of course, you don't got your all your features is the other one. See if I can do that. Okay, this is the Logitech's PS menu. That's the PS regular Sony's controllers. Okay, Logitech, Sony. You got your ch charge level and all that wonderful stuff. This one doesn't. And as you, the D pad's not as it's all weirdy. It's n n not as great. I don't know how. I don't think these go uh, reach as far as, or you know, go as far away as the Sony's. These ones will. And the D-pad. This D-pad's a lot more comfortable and you know, better feeling. I'm not signed in. Oh yeah, I'm not on the internet right now. Sega Superstar Tennis. Anyways, it's not bad after to uh, conclude. If you want a cheaper PlayStation 3 controller, I'd suggest it. But if you want, you know, a good one, stick with the Sony. It's, it'll probably last longer too.